Hey, what's up YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time. People, and today is Transformers week, and we will be reviewing a figure from Bumblebee Movie, and this is the 12-inch Shatter figure. But before we get down to looking at Shatter herself, let's take a look at the packaging for this 12-inch figure. Some nice box art of Shatter, looking all opposing. I like it. And a nice product shot of her jet mode. Transformers Bumblebee movie, Decepticon Shatter. Hasbro. Another bio Another, a, not a bio, sorry, correction moment. Another shot of Shatter herself. Looking good. <laughs> and another one of part of her on the side. And here's a look at Shatter in robot mode from the box. And in the jet mode. But I start all my reviews, since we're done with the packaging, in vehicle mode. And this is not a bad jet mode. It looks pretty cool. And better than the Energonic Niter Shatter I own. Speaking of Energonic Niter Shatter... Sorry, I'm going to have to adjust this and turn this thing around. Because I'm having difficulty. Sorry, a lot of fussing and moving around here. So sorry about that. As soon as I get get this thing straightened out. And now we're going to compare it next to the Energonic Niter Shatter. I like this one better than this one. It's not bad, the Energonic Niter Shatter. The only problem is the legs are molded in so you don't get any posability out of them. That's the only letdown with this figure. And now for another comparison. Here is 12 inch Shatter with her fellow Decepticon Dropkick, of course. Sorry about the adjusting angle. Dropkick, Shatter. And of course, Bumblebee Movie, Energonic Niter, Barricade, who didn't premiere in the movie, but it's a shame. Now we're going to get down to transformation. First, we're going to unconnect the legs, fold them down. Like so, fold in the wings. Second verse, just like the first, fold in the wings, straighten out the legs. Flip down the nose cone after I un peg the wings. Always unpeg the wings with this 12 inch figure. Fold down the nose cone. Pull up the arms. And there we got Shatter in her robot mode looking very intimidating as soon as I can get these things to plug in properly. Otherwise, she can't stand on her own. And I managed to get her standing. That's pretty neat. And it's not a bad robot mode. No elbow articulation. But you do get some, some swivels on the uh, arm joint, which is pretty neat. I do admit, I wish the arms were a little bit more poseable. But for the figure, it looks pretty well painted and sculpted. The head is molded in, so you don't get head movement. But you do get bend at the knee. I love it. But now we're going to compare it. Compare, sorry. Compare Shatter next to Energonic Niter. Bumblebee movie Shatter. And we're going to be saying that. Bumblebee movie quite a bit in this review. We're going to compare her next to Energon Igniter Shatter. 
Here she is next to the original Energonic Igniter Shatter. It's not bad. The head is well painted on this one. But I just like this head a little bit better. Because you don't get movement on this head either. But you don't get leg articulation. You get arm articulation, which is neat. But this is probably going to be my number one shatter. And that's all there is to say for Energonic Igniter Clash Shatter. Now for Energonic Igniter Drop Kick next to 12 inch Shatter. Because I love saying their names. It's a fun name to say, <laughs> for sure. And I'm going to be saying it quite a bit here. So sorry about this in advance. I'm having a lot more fun than I should have. But these figures are fun to mess around with. And fun to actually transform. Rotate the biceps. Pull down the top. Back half of the helicopter. Hold stuff in. Hold the repeller blades. And there we got... 12-inch Shatter with her boy, Drop Kick. And they're, they're ready to do some damage to some Autobots. Oh, yeah. Because they are the Decepticons. That are triple changers. They're going to find Bumblebee and they're, they're going to knock him down a notch. Oh yeah. And I love saying that. And now for one last comparison. Before we end this review. As soon as I get Barricade transformed, we're going to review... Bumblebee Movie 12-inch Shatter with my boy Barricade in the house. And Legends Barricade is smaller than Shatter because he only comes up to her leg. That's a real letdown with this Barricade. Well, you're probably wondering, where did I get this Shatter from? Well, I got this from... Amazon, I think, for uh, 10 bucks, since I was short a couple Decepticon reviews. Would I recommend this if you're a Bumblebee movie fan like I am? Yes. Pick this up. This is not a bad-looking shatter for a 12-inch. If you can get the Studio Series shatter, definitely get that. I will have to try to pick me up a Studio Series shatter. Well, that's all there is to say for this review. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out.